Hi guys, welcome back to the MCM Buzz stage here live in London. I'm very pleased to welcome two stars of wireless. Please give it up for Lindsay Amau and Andrew Lee Potts. I shouldn't cheer myself. That's welcome, welcome. Cool. You should. Hi. Thank in you. fact, I have to say, it doesn't feel like an MCM Buzz stage without you now. Yay. We've seen you lot. Is that, a, that, is that a diss or a compliment? <laughs> Not a sure with this one. <laughs> but what do you think of our new stage? It's Bit of nice. an upgrade. Yeah. It looks it's, good. It's, um, it's not, I like the cookies. Yeah, I like the turtles like the along the front. All the turtles, yeah. yeah. Donatello, he's my favourite from when I was a kid. Oh, is he? Is he? Yeah, I yeah. like Mikey. Oh, Raphael. Yeah, Michelangelo. I think that's too obvious, Michelangelo. Yeah, maybe. Donatello, he's the, he's the smart one, isn't he's he? He's the nerd, right? Yeah. yeah. We're messing up your display here. <laughs> Raphael, that's the cool fine. one. Fine, you can go shopping here later, it's fine. Yeah, it's and um, I have to say, though, I like your bracelet. It's not a bracelet, it's a watch. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Ooh, he gets very defensive about his watch. <laughs> But it's from the show. Is it that is. Right? It's from Wireless. Yeah, I brought. This is Unit White, so I brought her along with me. Um, yeah. There so she is. obviously, if you haven't seen Wireless, the <laughs> show is about uh, Jacob Crow, blanky. detective. Sorry, go on. <laughs> so your show is about Jacob Crow, who is a detective, and he has an AI unit as his partner, it who is a car. Mm -hmm. And um, so. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, what happens with the two characters? Yeah, basically, it's a cop. He's uh, kind of been on suspension. He's been a bit disgraced at what he's done. He's not the, he's not, uh, he's good at his job, but he's not the, he's not the most best behaved cop in town. Mm -hmm. um, so he comes back to work and he gets given this, er uh, uh, he gets given this job, which is to babysit this experimental unit, uh, which is in his car. Uh, it's called Unit White. She's a very sassy, sexy sounding sat nav. <laughs> Um, but as it transpires, they start to work with each other. They become a good team, even though they're a very, it's a very kind of Spock Kirk relationship with them. She's mm -hmm. very factual about everything and he's trying to, you know, get around that. It's very logical. Um, but she, as, as the episodes grow, she's growing, she's learning. She's learning from Jacob, who's not the best person to learn from. Um, and, and Rebecca. Yeah, and mm -hmm. well, this is the thing, this is how Lindsay comes into it, because this is, uh, Lindsay plays my ex-girlfriend, who's uh, the police psychologist. So wherefore, when we get to the point of uh, Unit White struggling with the reality, as it were, or dealing with her own emotions, we actually have to go in search of um, Rebecca um, to help out psychologically. So, so yeah. you basically take the car to see a shrink. I take, I take the yeah. car to see the shrink. But you yeah. can't obviously drive the car into her no. flat. So you do something called ghosting. Can you explain what that yeah, is? Yeah, basically, it's called wireless because she's able to not just be in the car, she's able to uh, wirelessly go within, within any wireless device. Hence, she can be in my watch and yada, 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 any security camera. Um, so yeah, she, in the scene with Lindsay, we go into the flat and she can go through her music system and into her TV, so that's TV. how they get to talk. So I don't think there's ever been a scene with a psychologist type character talking to a robot about their emotions before. I think that might be a new that's thing. That's a first, I think. Well, yeah. I think there's, you know, Herbie-esque type stuff. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I would hardly call it Herbie. No. But uh, but <laughs> <laughs> talking to a car about their feelings is Herbie. Yeah, yeah, yeah I guess it so. is. It's true. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, so one of the things about Rebecca is, as you mentioned, she is your ex, and it seems that Crow is still hung up on her. I mean, he's still got his, her house key. How does yeah. Rebecca yeah. feel about Crow, though? Um, I think deep down, there's a lot of there's a lot of kind of complexity where you know their history and their romantic kind of interaction is is you know involved. But I think. Deep down, she loves him, um, but there's a lot of water under the bridge. Mm -hmm. So she seems yeah. a bit irritated by him when he comes by. It wouldn't be. <laughs> yeah, she. I mean, he, he does irritate her, but but I think that's because she still has feelings for him deep down. Yeah, the st our story, our story arc within it is nowhere near over. Uh, there's a lot more uh, to come with that. But also, what I did like is that when we introduced. Lindsay Moore into the show as Rebecca is that White started to show signs of jealousy so Rebecca helped White deal with her emotions and then on top of that she gets another emotion which is jealousy and which is like I don't know if I like this feeling so that's gonna we're gonna explore that as well so I think it's just a really unique um, setup it's a love triangle yeah. with a car that's <laughs> really odd <laughs> And so uh, I think we're about halfway through the um, the series. We now, are, and it's, yeah. it's been about 
three months since the last episode, so yeah. you're about to go into yeah, we the next part. Yeah, we basically capped it um, at episode eight, um, which is the first part, um, and the second part's got eight more episodes to tell the, the rest of the story, the rest of the day, really, so we're halfway through the day. And you said that the second half's going to be darker. It is, it gets darker, mm. um, start to introduce our villains. Um, we had to... It's taken the eight episodes to get to the point, you know, to tell the story and to make people understand the world. And now we get to really, really have fun with it. Each episode grows every time, throws up more challenges. Um, so it's going to take a little bit longer. We started to shoot a lot of it. Um, some of it you'll see today. Um, so, yeah, so, but I'm excited. It's going to, yeah, it's well, going I'm places. It's got wheels. <laughs> well, I'm excited That's to see terrible. the trailer. I hope you guys are too. <laughs> and we fun. happen to have it here for you now. So let's show the trailer for the next episode of Wireless. Skimmer implied that if we didn't do this, it would be you taking the full crew. This assignment is high profile. It was my recommendation, you were nowhere near it, but apparently the ideal candidate. I need this. Why? This morning, you wouldn't let me run a red light, and now you're actively telling me to break into my boss's apartment. This will help Casper. I'll scout ahead. Pro, we have a problem. We have to leave now. Yeah, tell me something I don't know. He was part machine. Wait, Crow, they're coming for you. It's a trap. Crow! Breaking of a new dawn of policing. That's what Unit White is. A machine with complete AI. I am Unit White, your new partner. This is a new chapter for you. Potentially a career-defining one. You get to be at the forefront of something amazing. That press conference was a publicity stunt. These AI units are on the streets right now. 22 CCs of epinephrine. I need backup. You'll have it. I've already contacted a friend. Sync with this device. Synced. As humans, we are far too easily manipulated. I've got a tracking device in one of these units, and Jacob Crowe's the DC in charge of My it. job here has always been to assess whether you're ready to go back to active duty or not. White has evolved. She's not just based in her server anymore, she is everywhere. She can access any wireless device, like the ghost, but in reality, there's no limit. Lovely to meet you, Roy. In the wrong hands, I need to be able to trust you. Crow, are you all right? Yeah, I think I might sit the next one out. You're wireless now, aren't you? I am what you made me. Ta da! Brilliant! Thanks. Well, there's a lot going on in that trailer, certainly. Yeah. And there's a lot of hooded figures in there. There is, yeah. Including Crow. So is he shedding the police uniform and going undercover? Yeah, I mean, towards the end of the, the first uh, part, as it were, um, yeah, I realized that the police might not be my ally, or at least members of the police. So, yeah, I have to go a little bit underground, which is how the gambits come into it, which you've seen Skimmer and Pixie in that come up in that so yeah and last that we saw you you were being held at knife point in the car in yes. unit white so are you going to pick up straight after that moment straight after that and rebecca you're in the trailer so obviously we're yeah. going to see more sorry Lindsay, you're in it so you're going to see you more from rebecca, rebecca. <laughs> you are rebecca now so uh what's going to happen with your character can you tease anything um i don't know i don't yeah. tell anybody she doesn't tell us no <laughs> she knows she's in it again no, I literally, we don't tell. Me and Alex, who uh, is the co-creator, we don't tend to say very much. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and also, they never get the whole script. They only get the bit that they're in. Right. So, so you keep secretive. the mystery. It's yeah. very secretive, yeah. And um, we saw Sarah Jane Potts there, your sister. Yeah, we did joke a... last time she was here that she does tend to do a lot of medical roles, and she looks like she's back as a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> is that a little in-joke for you? <laughs> No, I know, right? Yeah, so she's good at it though, she could do it, so. Yeah. Um, um, I mean, and where it filmed as well, to me that looked like the skate park on South Bank, is that right? Might have been. Maybe, is yeah. it? Well, I'm, you see, I'm just trying to get really cool areas of London in, and yeah. everybody knows that, every yeah. skate park, so. Yeah. 
But it was quiet. It's never quiet. <laughs> I was there very, very early in the morning. Right. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, okay, so we're going to give you guys a chance to ask some questions now uh, for our lovely panellists. So if you want to stick your hands up and I will come to you. This first one's for me, obviously. Hi, i got a question to uh, Lindsay. Hiya. Um, obviously with this series, what do you prefer doing, acting or singing? Oh, wow. Um, I don't know if I prefer one to the other. I really love singing and I love acting. Um, they're two very, very different arts. And I think I've spent so many years in music in my 20s and my early 30s and acting is something new for me, relatively new anyway. Um, and so it feels like I've got a fresh energy for it and it's something that I can really sink my teeth into. So I, I'm feeling more kind of focused on that at the moment. Um, but singing is always there. I still do gigs with the girls and everything and I adore music, so it'll always be there. For those of you who don't know, Lindsay was in Bewitch. Yeah. And uh, you were also then reunited in the big reunion, is we that We were, right? yeah, yeah. What was the reason behind Like, What made you decide at that time to go back? Was um, it just the show or was there more than that? Well, we were approached by the TV company. Um, they were going to be putting this show together. Oh, there we are. And. Um, we thought about it and, and I think it was just the right time for us. It was kind of like a now or never decision to make. We just thought if we don't do this, then we'll never do anything ever again. This is it, you know, we'll, let's just, you know, we just thought we'd go for it really. Um, we did the big reunion documentary, got ourselves back together and then we went on tour twice that year. So it was a huge success. Yeah. And was it fun going back to that, singing C'est la vie and all that? Yeah, it was. Mm -hmm. And then we got back in the studio, we recorded some new material. Yeah. Um, from that album, Champagne or Champagne Guinness, or Guinness mm -hmm. EP. Um, so we've been gigging the old stuff and the new stuff again, which is really good. So yeah, it's been Fantastic. Fun. Any other questions out there at all? Everyone's quite quiet today. <laughs> um, oh, one here. Hello, I have a question for Andrew. Hi. Do you prefer wireless or primeval? <laughs> uh, well, it's completely different for me because obviously I'm just just uh, an actor in in primeval. But it was a massive part of my life, you know, five years of my life, which I wouldn't change at all. Um, but wireless is my baby, you know, and I, I creatively I like more control. I like the bigger picture. I like thinking about everything. I like down to casting people's costumes. I, I enjoy the whole process. Um, but I, I couldn't really compare the two and say I like one more than the other because it, it wouldn't be true. They're just very different worlds of mine, which I like both of them. So, but I do like having a bit more creative control in general. So, yeah, if that kind of answers your question. And you're uh, with Hannah Spirit in Primeval. Yes. Who's in S Top 7. You're now with Lindsay, who's been in Bewitched. Yeah, do you can't get like away from pop stars, can I? I know. Can you, you like hiring pop stars, basically. Yeah, well, my wife was in the Honeys as well. Yeah. So. <laughs> is she, she going to be in Wireless? It, it, my armor in Wireless? No, I don't think she's. <laughs> <laughs> no, she doesn't act. Okay. And uh, so we know that you have some new stuff coming out, not just wireless. Yes. So do you want to talk about your new movie, Host? Yeah, I'm shooting at the moment right now, actually, uh, a Host, there you go, um, which is a psychological thriller set on uh, in Notting Hill, Portobello Road, uh, about uh, a young, trendy couple. He's a fashion photographer. She's a, a really famous actress. They, they rent their... Um, house out while they're on holiday through a site, if you know what I mean, online, and they come back, but maybe the people that they rented it to have never left. So I can't really say more than that, but it's very dark. Sounds mysterious. Yeah, but it's a lot of fun. So, oh, and that's, um, yeah, that's Christine Mazzano who plays uh, my girlfriend in it. So it's basically us two in the movie. And finally, uh, in terms that's of- That's me playing a photographer. In case you didn't, with a camera. <laughs> <laughs> Just to clarify. <laughs> and so we have time for one more question from me. And I want to know, if you could have an AI unit do anything for you, not just drive you about, what would you have them do? Oh, wow. Um, I'd have them be my chef. chef. Oh, good choice. Yes. Eating again. Eating, yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Have your breakfast, lunch, and dinner made for you every day. Yeah. Amazing. I'm with you on that one. How about you, Andrew? I don't know, you know. Um, 
Yeah, I'd probably just go cleaning, if I'm honest. Oh. Yeah, just to help, help me out with the cleaning. Oh. Do you do all the cleaning? No, I would share it out, but it's just cleaning, isn't it? It's just, who likes cleaning? Well, some people actually do like cleaning. Ironing. I hate ironing. I don't like cleaning. What's that about? You'd have an ironing drone. Who has ironing time drone. to iron? Yeah? <laughs> Who, Who has, has time, time to, iron? to iron? Yeah, but girls' clothes, boys' clothes, I think, need more ironing than girls' clothes, because you've got shirts and stuff, yeah. Anyway, watch wireless. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Well, thank you very much for talking to us. Everyone, please give her a big round of applause thank to you. our guests, Linda and Andrew Lee Potts. Peace.